There are not enough weapons. The number of deserters in Russian army will increase. Rusik. The Russians complain about the lack of weapons and equipment in various directions of the front. This was reported by the U.S. Institute for the Study of War. According to information, Russia's Rusik Subversive Intelligence Group published a list of various problems on the front line. The range and accuracy of Russian anti-battery weapons is low. We don't have laser-guided missiles and we don't have UAVs to guide them. Russia's Tornado S missiles are less resistant to electronic warfare than Ukraine's HIMARS systems. Russian troops do not remove or evacuate the wounded and dead from the combat zone. This makes some Russian soldiers to refuse combat missions. If the situation does not change, the number of deserters will increase significantly. Analysts say that Russian forces are suffering from low morale and internal divisions. The Rusik was formed in 2014 and has fought in Syria in conflicts in Africa and in Ukraine. It has been implicated in the torture and abuse of Ukrainian prisoners, said open source intelligence group Molfar, and one of its leaders, Alexei Milkachov, filmed himself killing a puppy and biting its head off in 2014.